Blessed be your name forevermore. God of wonders.
Wow.
telling the Almighty God to take all the glory. So just go ahead, wherever you are, in your home, on the road, wherever you might be this evening, just offer him praise, offer him worship, and say, Father, take all the glory. Take all the glory. We hold nothing back, Jehovah. Take all the glory. All the glory, all the majesty, all the thanksgiving. Father, take all the glory. All the glory belong to you. Offer him worship this evening. Just say, Father, take all the glory. Take all the glory. Take all the glory, Jehovah. Take all the glory. One more time, we will take that song again and say, Back, Bogo. Oh, yes, it belongs to you, Jehovah. All glory, all honor, they belong to you, Father. Oh, Father, take all the glory. For what you have done this past convention, all the glory we ascribe unto you. Oh, Father, we hold nothing back. Take all the glory. We offer you glory. We offer you worship for everything you have done, Father. This wonderful convention. Take all the glory, mighty Father. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Oh, Father, take all the glory. Take all the glory. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Brethren, in the saints about yesterday afternoon, for some reason, 98 just kept, 88 just kept coming to my spirit, man. And I wondered, what, what does this mean? What does this figure mean? What does this figure mean? Then as I was just sitting in the office today, something just told me that can you imagine if this convention had been in the time we had Lekki 88? When there was no internet, when there was no Dove TV, when there was nothing for us to gather, we all have to, some people trekked for miles to get to the convention. There is a scripture that says God makes every arrangement on behalf of his children. So tonight, as it is our practice in the redeemed Christian church of God, is going to be a night of thanksgiving for what the Lord has done. So you'll just lift up your voice unto heaven and say, Father, and say, Father, we thank you for making every arrangement for this convention to sit to be a success. Father, we say thank you. We say thank you. Even when we didn't know you are, you had already gone ahead, you had made every possible arrangement. Father, we are grateful. We are grateful. Not only was the convention a success, it was a huge success. Not because of the planning of men, but because you had made all the arrangements. Just say, Father, we are grateful for all you did during this past convention. Father, we give you praise. We give you praise for all the arrangements you made. For perfecting every plan, every arrangement made by man. For putting the seal of heaven on the arrangement. Father, we are grateful. We are grateful. Oh, Father, we are grateful. For the things that were not before that you caused to be in. Father, we are grateful. Oh, Father, we offer you praise. We offer you praise. We take nothing for granted. We did not take Dove TV for granted. We are not taking the internet for granted. We are not taking Facebook for granted. We are not taking YouTube for granted. You made them all. You made them all. You put every arrangement in place long before men thought of a, thought of a lockdown. Father, we are grateful. We are grateful, Jehovah. We are grateful. We are grateful. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your name, Jehovah God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Brethren, even though it was our daddy and the anointed men of God that you saw, there were many, 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 many other things that God had put in place for you to be able to see them. And you know what? Countless are the things that could have gone wrong. Bandwidth could fail. Internet could fail. The electrical system could fail. The sound system. But God perfected everything. 
So we will lift up our voices again and say, Father, for perfecting everything about that convention, we say thank you. Oh, just go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Father, for making everything perfect for that convention, we say thank you. Father, we are grateful. We are grateful. We know, Lord God, that it was your hand that was behind the scene. It was your spirit that was behind the scene. Your voice says that and you, I will make everything right. And Father, that was what you did. You made everything right. You said that you will show us the way to go. You showed everyone that had anything to do with that convention the way to go. Father, for perfecting all the arrangements, we are grateful. Oh, just offer your praises to God and say, Father, we are grateful. We are grateful. We say thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you, Jehovah God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. If you were like me, when Daddy announced last year that the theme for this year's convention would be wonderful, well, maybe some people are more religious than I am, so, well. But me, I wondered, wonderful how? What is there to discuss in wonderful? Once we have talked about Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, and it's wonderful. What else is there? Anyway, now, looking back, can you think of any more appropriate theme for this convention than wonderful? That at a time when everything was on pause, the God of wonders arose on our behalf. It was as if right from the beginning, God knew what was coming. And he spoke to his son, and his son listened. So for that very, very theme of wonderful. Because you see, these things don't just happen by, by coincidence. God is said to do wonder. So we are going to lift up our voices and just say, Father, and just say, Father, for that theme that is wonderful, we say thank you. Because we know that indeed wonderful things have begun in the lives of your children. Just thank God that because he said to do wonderful things, he had given us that theme and says everything is wonderful. Just go ahead and say, Father, oh, for wonderful things, for wonderful testimonies, I say thank you. For wonderful answers to prayers, I say thank you. Just go ahead, bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Father, we are grateful. We are grateful. Thank you, ancient of days. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Now, I'm, I know it is not possible. Usually during the convention, the ushers make an attempt to count the number of people that were there. And usually because more people will have been there physically than will log on. We will say we have an idea how many millions there were. Now, can you imagine that people that will never have been at the convention... People that probably will never will have had cause to travel to be at the convention, travel by air, travel by land to come. People who the convention was just a dream. They just hear and they say, one day, by God's grace, I will be in Lagos at the time of the convention. Suddenly, it was possible for them. Why? Because God made the various platforms available. So you pray again, you say, Father, you say, Father. For all the platforms where your children gathered for the convention, we say thank you. Father, we are grateful for every platform that you made available, for every platform that your children used to log on to that convention. Father, we are grateful. We are grateful, Jehovah. We are grateful. Because each and every one of them, even though men thought they were the inventions of man, they were actually your creation. They were your handiwork. Father, we are grateful. For doing all these things for our sake, we say thank you. That it was the most beautiful convention there was. It was the most wonderful convention there was. Lagos Ibadu Expressway could have done anything it wanted and we would not have cared. Why? Because it was a wonderful time in your presence. You had made wonderful arrangement. Father, we are grateful. Oh, we give you praise. We give you praise. We appreciate your doings, Jehovah. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Brethren, we just need to thank God. You know, there is a giving your life when there is an altar call. 
is by a special impartation of the Spirit. But you see, at times, particularly those that are reluctant, they are encouraged when they see others giving their lives. But can you imagine when a man is sitting alone in, the, in his room and yet the word of God touches him there. The spirit of God moves him there and he gives his life. That is a special grace. So we pray, we say, Father, we say, Father, for every life that you touched in this convention, for everyone that you saved in this convention, Father, we say thank you. Because we know that your spirit was mightily at work. Your spirit was specially at work, even to save them, even to rescue them from perishing. Father, we are grateful. Oh, we are grateful. That in itself is a miracle. Father, we offer you praise. These are people that will otherwise have been lost. Many of them might never even have come to a convention. But Jehovah, because their souls were precious unto you, you included them in your arrangement. Father, we say thank you. For the testimonies that were shared, just go ahead and bless the name of the Lord also. The testimonies that were shared, the ones that people have shared to their neighbors, to their colleagues, to their families, the ones that will be shared in future gatherings. Father, we are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. The ones we will hear about, we offer you praise. The many, many more we will not even know about, we offer you thanksgiving. All we know is that you did them all. You did them all, Jehovah. Blessed be your name, Jehovah God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Very, very quickly, we will just use some scriptures to pray. At times, you see, God moves in a miraculous manner. In this month of August, the theme for us is joy cometh. Joy cometh. And it is taken from Psalms chapter 30, verse 5. But you see, as I was reading that psalm, beginning from verse 1, I just began to see all the things that our daddy had been teaching leading up to the convention. And everything that he has done, that God has done concerning that convention, just became clear to me. Psalm 30, I will read quickly from verse 1 to 5. It says, I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up, that word again, and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave, thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment, in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Brethren, I declare unto you that by reason of this convention, God will lift you up in the name of Jesus. By reason of this convention, your enemies will never be able to rejoice over you. If anything, they will hear of of your wonderful testimonies and will join you in celebration. In the name of Jesus. And you will pray. You say, Father. You say, Father. For everyone that you lifted up. For everyone, Lord, that you promoted. Coming out of this convention, we say thank you. We know that there will be testimonies of lifting. There will be testimonies of progress. There will be testimonies of promotion. For every one of these things and more that you have done. Father, we just say thank you. We just say thank you. We know you, Lord God, you did them all. The psalmist says you have lifted me up. And in preparing us for the convention, your son has been teaching us from lockdown to lifting up. Now we know that that indeed is your plan. Father, for the wonderful lifting of this convention, we say thank you. For promotion, for progress, for posterity, for healing, Jehovah, we are grateful. On behalf of your church, on behalf of your children, we lift up our voices to you in thanksgiving and we say, blessed be your name. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The big part of that verse 1, that Psalm 30 verse 1 says, and has not made my foes to rejoice over me. Can you imagine if for whatever reason or the other, it was not possible to hold the convention? Can you imagine? And you see, brethren, 
the, the enemy never gives up. He always plans these pandemics when the convention is coming. A few years ago, it was Ebola. And we got to the point that the government was almost saying, don't gather. And then suddenly, God arose. I am sure that when in June, the, the government said churches should reopen. And then suddenly they changed their mind. Some people will have been thinking, we will see how they will do it. Shebi, they said they have convention. Not knowing that God even planned the largest gathering of all. So we pray, you say, Father. You say, Father, for not allowing your church, for not allowing the enemies of your church to rejoice. We say, thank you. For not allowing the distractors, for not allowing those who will put the name of your church to shame. To rejoice over your church. Father, we say thank you. Lord, for putting every enemy to shame. For arising strongly on behalf of your church. Father, we are grateful. We say thank you. We say thank you. We we'll bless your name, Father. Because, oh Lord, the more we look, the more we see your hand. The more, oh Lord God, men tries. The more, Lord, you stand solidly behind your church. No wonder your word says that you have set up your church. You have, haven't allowed the gates of hell to prevail. Father, we say thank you. Oh, for your doings, Jehovah, we say thank you. Blessed be your name, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In verse 2 of that Psalm 30, the Bible tells that I cried unto the Lord, and thou hast healed me. Brethren, I learned something new in this convention. When on Friday, when on Saturday, daddy said, he first of all said it on Friday, but it didn't really touch my spirit. It was when on Saturday, he quoted again Leviticus 17 verse 11 and said that the life of the animal is in the blood. You see, hitherto, I had thought, well, when we take the Holy Communion, we are drinking the blood of Jesus. No, 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 no. You are taking the life of Jesus itself. Ah, so I said, eh, eh. this thing is just not ordinary blood. Oh. It's the man, God, God, that we are eating. That day when I was serving the Holy Communion for my family, I filled the cup to the brim. Because it is, you know, it is the very life of Jesus that you are healing. So when that psalmist says, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me, it is because inside of us is the very life of Jesus. So we'll lift up our voices once more and say, Father, for all your healing, this convention, we say thank you. For everyone that you heal, for every infirmity, for every disease, for every sickness, Father, that you heal, we say thank you. Indeed, your name is Jehovah Rofeka, the God that can heal. For putting that name to work on behalf of your children, Father, we say thank you. Indeed, we cried and indeed you answered. Indeed, Father, we cried and indeed you healed your people. Oh, Father, your word says you sent forth your word and you healed our infirmities. As your word went forth for every healing that you brought about, Father, we say thank you. Oh, Jehovah, for causing the scriptures to be fulfilled in our time and in our lives, Father, we say thank you. We bless you, mighty Father. Oh, Father, we bless you. We bless you. Thank you, ancient of days. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Brethren, when God has done something wonderful in your life, it doesn't matter for how long you have waited. Suddenly, the morning comes. It doesn't matter for how long you have been praying. It doesn't matter for how long you have been fasting. Then God does something wonderful. Suddenly, your joy has come. There is a song in my language that says, Arai di de eba mi jo, e ni yon mi eba mi yo, o luwa mi lo be mi ga. That suddenly becomes your song. Because it doesn't matter for how long you have been waiting. God has shown up for your case. And that is what that verse says. That joy cometh in the morning. That is my belief. That coming out of this convention, Indeed, our joy has come. So you will lift up your voices unto heaven and say, Father, because my joy has come, I say thank you. 
Indeed, it is a wonderful thing you have done for bringing about my joy, for bringing about my testimony, for bringing about wonderful things concerning me, Jehovah, for fulfilling the scriptures for my sake, for my sake. Father, I say thank you. I bless you. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful, Jehovah. Blessed be your name, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Very quickly, yes, it is time for thanksgiving. But also, in the course of the convention, some prophecies went out. Some prophecies went out. And I know that on Tuesday, we started praying with those prophecies. All those prayers that have gone up, heaven will respond in the name of Jesus. But you see, one of those prophecies said, quite a few businesses will not survive the lockdown. End of story. But he then says, but when I was writing it down, even though daddy says, but some will emerge stronger. I didn't put some, I put mine. I say, but mine will emerge stronger. Because it doesn't matter what it is that you find your hand finds to do. Whatever it is that is the work of your hand. So far the word has gone forth. Even though business is left, right and center, may it not survive the lockdown. Concerning you, you will emerge stronger. So you will prophesy concerning yourself and say, Father, oh, once again you say, Father, you say concerning me, concerning me, my businesses will emerge stronger. From this lockdown, the works of my hand, whatever it is I lay my hands upon to do, will emerge stronger. Because your word has come forth. Because I hold on to it with faith. Oh, Jehovah, I declare again over myself, over my business, over my wife, over my husband, over the children that you have given unto us. Father, my business will emerge stronger. My ministry will emerge stronger. My health will emerge stronger. Whatever it is, Lord, so far it contents me. So far it pertains unto me. It doesn't matter what is happening to others over this lockdown. I will emerge stronger. I will be better. I will be greater. I will be stronger. Father, as your word has gone forth, my business will emerge stronger in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your name, Jehovah God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I like the last, the third one very, very much. Because, you see, God put a time frame to it. It says, before this lockdown is over, the siege of my destiny will be gone. Now the lockdown is over. The lockdown is over. That means the siege of my destiny, the siege of your destiny is over. So you will shout hallelujah to the Lord. And then back it up with prayer and say, Father, and say, Father, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. The siege of my destiny is over. Every gate erected against my destiny. Every stronghold standing against my destiny. Because your word has gone forth. I hold on to it in faith and believe. The siege is over. The Bible says that the snare is broken. And I have escaped. Oh, Father, I have escaped every siege. I have escaped every lockdown. I have escaped every entrapment of the enemy. I have escaped every plan to cage my destiny. Lord, according to your prophecy and proclaimed by your son over my life, over the life of my family, before this lockdown is over, the siege on my destiny is over. The siege is over. We have escaped. The snare is broken. The siege is destroyed. The mountain is broken. Everything, Lord, that is holding us down is burnt to the ground. We have escaped. Father, the siege on my destiny is gone. The siege on my destiny is gone. I arise unto fulfillment. I arise unto the perfection of my destiny. Joy cometh indeed. Thank you, thank you, mighty God. Blessed be your name, Jehovah. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Two more prayer points. I hope you know. I hope you know that not everyone who saw last year's convention saw this year's convention. 
Some of the people who didn't see it, they pray more than you do. They fast more than you do. They didn't, but somehow, somehow, grace spoke for you. And here you are. Now, the Bible tells us that God is able to keep everything that is committed into his hands. So, you are going to commit yourself, your family, your loved ones, everyone that is precious to you. You are going to commit them into his hands so that he can keep you unto the next convention. And you are going to say, Father, going to say, Father, I thank you that I'm alive to see this convention. I commit myself, my family, my wife, my children, my husband, everyone that is precious unto me, I commit them unto your hands. You are the one that is able to keep whatever is committed unto you. Father, please keep us. Please keep us. When the roll call of next year's convention is taken, if you tarry, Father, I will be among them. I will be alive. I will be well. Stronger, better than I, than I am now. Just go ahead and prophesy over yourself over your family, over everyone that is precious unto you. When next year's convention comes around, if Jesus starts, I will be part of it. We will count ourselves. None will be missing. None will be missing in your family. None will be missing in the church of God, Israel Assembly. None will be missing in Lagos province too. We will be greater, bigger, stronger, more numerous than we are now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Finally, you will pray. Because you see, when God, there is a saying in my language. How that saying came about, I don't know. That when God has done something for you, when God answers your prayers, you will cover it so that nobody will see. They say that when your yam cooks, you cover it to eat it. Brethren, it is if that yam is not big enough. If it is big, if God has done something, you can imagine if they are still alive, well, I don't know. The people that were daddy's neighbor in Mushin, how will daddy cover the fact that he's not in Mushin anymore? That he is now in redemption camp. How? So when God has done something wonderful for you, brethren, there is no hiding it. So, coming out of this convention, you will pray unto the Lord that he will do something wonderful for you. That men will see it and they will praise your God. So you will say, Father, you will say, Father, you have promised something wonderful. Do it in my life. Let men see it and let them glorify you. Just go ahead and pray and ask the Father, yes, I have come for thanksgiving and I'm already thanking you. Because I know that wonderful things you will do. I don't want it to be something that will be known to me alone. Or just to me and my household. Father, big things, mighty things, wonderful testimonies. Let that be what will follow me after this convention. So that people may know that even though I did not go to the camp physically, you came into my house. You came into my dwelling. You visited me. You touched me. Wonderful things came as a result. Oh, Father, so let it be. So let it be, Father. So let it be, Jehovah God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Finally, for another minute or two, just once again, lift up your voices in thanksgiving and just say, Father, for all that you did last week, we say thank you. For all that we have been able to do in thanksgiving this week, Father, please let it be acceptable unto you. Father, we came before you on Monday. We came before you on Tuesday. Here we are again on Thursday, offering you praises and thanksgiving. Father, let our thanksgiving, let it be acceptable unto you. Let our appreciation, Father, let it come unto the throne of grace and be acceptable unto you. Father, once again, we just say thank you. We say thank you. We bless you. We honor you. We hallow you. We worship you. Blessed be your name, Jehovah God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Very quickly, we will give an offering. So, the account details of the church will be displayed. And please, it is an offering of thanksgiving. Don't see today as faith clinic. Today is Thanksgiving Thursday. So, give an offering. 
to be your point of contact with your wonderful testimonies. The account details of the church will be on the screen. And we just ask, please, you can do a transfer, send, do your, pay your offering. You can do it virtually or you can do it physically. All I know is that so far you give an offering, the God that is able to bless and reward will bless you mightily. Choir, please. indeed all thanksgiving we give to you all appreciation all adoration we render unto you Jehovah you who alone is able to bless father we say thank you that if for all that you did during convention 2020 we say thank you for making everything wonderful concerning your children we say thank you for the answering of all our prayers father we say thank you for the testimonies, O oh Lord, that cometh, we say thank you. That if for all the prayers of thanksgiving we have lifted up unto you in this week of thanksgiving. Father, because you have accepted, you have answered them, we say thank you. Jehovah, please behold the offering of your children. We ask, O oh Lord, that as many as have given physically and as many as are doing transfers of giving through one platform or the other, please bless them all. In the name of Jesus. Father, accept it as a token of our appreciation. As a token of our thanksgiving for all that you have done. Known and unknown. And Father, please Lord, answer us in return. Bless us in return. As we continue in this month of joy cometh. Cause our joy to be full. In the name of Jesus. Cause the scriptures to be fulfilled concerning your children. Thank you, thank you mighty Father. Blessed be your name Jehovah God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. People of God, again, we rejoice because church is open, because we are back in the house of our Lord. We just are grateful. We are grateful to God for the answering of our prayers. And we will expect you in church on Sunday. Please be observant. Look out on the various church platforms. And we will be giving us advice and directives on how to proceed. We will be also letting you know the times. But please, all the arrangements have been made so that we are all safe in the house of our Lord. We are in full compliance with the directives of government. Not because we believe that that is where safety and security is. But because we are obedient children. My Lord and my God is more than able to keep till the very end and he will save us even from this pandemic so we look forward to seeing you in church and please also remember that come this saturday is our saturday for dominion service and please uh, join up dove media facebook youtube and all the platforms and our daddy and the lord will be ministering eight o'clock on seven o'clock on saturday seven o'clock on saturday for dominion service. The theme is joy cometh. Our joy will be full in Jesus name. Do enjoy the rest of the evening. Blessings. Together shall we please share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, 
and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord.